I know that making these live stream videos makes it more aware that we move from one place to another. Before, like, having people at night interrupt your sleep when that's the most important thing is sleep. And at night, you think you're okay in a place where, like, they didn't value you. They wanted $2,000 more out of us after the 14 months of being there for two years. And it was crazy, like, how, like, all the stuff that I got sick off, either being poisoned or either being in the apartment where it looked clean, but in the bathroom there was mold and for inside the shower, and I, I lost a bunch of weight, being that I was in a place where we would have to basically go out a lot to get away from being in a place where it seemed like they didn't like us there and they would say all sorts of stuff and it stemmed from having a YouTube channel that it wasn't my it wasn't my intentions from having a YouTube channel at one point in time thinking that it would get somewhere and then when it did people got mad and all sorts of other stuff and I figured I would just only post when it was necessary to post. Like, this so uh, that they cared about your well-being. YouTube wrote to me and saying that, they, saying that they had individuals that were concerned about me, but I never posted a video response from it. And I lost a bunch of weight and had the swoon upon my forehead from 2015. And I made it in that year back then. Then thinking anything, thinking that we'd always... Thinking that we'd always be in a house, but for every reason, two years ago, moved from a house to an apartment. Then we moved back because of stuff that occurred that I explained that we were moving again in that video that something had occurred where we would move back because it was too much to juggle three places and only have this one place now because the, the apartment was leased by month by month and figured... It was 14 months, 15 months, going into 16 months, almost two years in a place where it was just, it was okay, but it just figured how things were, people would be really cruel to you at night when you have to sleep, and it was something that I figured wasn't the greatest place to be in terms of just having, having to stay at a place where you thought it was safe, and then all of a sudden it ramped up and people would say things and it just was crazy how you move from one place to another and in terms of just saying that you never were in a place in the and that wasn't the case because i had my entertainment center and all those videos that black entertainment center that i had for the beginning of time even in the vacuum video it wasn't clear as day but i had it in the room with the resident evil 5 bag that i had from 2010 that i had shown off a lot of times in videos that I had art and stuff that I was just gonna end the video I was just watching videos on YouTube because it entertains me because it has other content creators that get to express themselves and I'm not against anyone but in terms of people trying to say that they're mean when it was because we have different parents and even though I've been in a ward I hadn't been there that many times and then the case of having them say that I was not that I could draw and that wasn't the case because you have to be sane minded to get a high score. You have to be sane minded to, to sketch things is because in the photograph I looked like I was laughing is because I could sketch things and then I didn't do anything funny towards me in terms of me having all my teeth and it just demonstrates that I have all my teeth. And that's why I did that, but for whatever reason, people would be cruel to you saying that you're going to get hurt off this again. And I sat there angry because I should be able to defend myself, sure, but if they have, like, rest, they have wrestler type people that have archetype body of being, like, bigger than you, and it makes it grueling in terms of having to defend yourself in a way that doesn't seem possible in terms of having to defend yourself against someone that could be a wrestler on TV or has a body type that takes it. I now have my shirt off again, but I, I check these boxes off that it's not made for kids, but for whatever reason, the majority of the audience is probably over the age of 18, you would think, being that YouTube has two apps, one 
designed for kids and one not designed. And I had got on the app back in 2015 before all that. So I figured if there was some way of knowing that you can't see all the analytics of the graph when you're on your phone, but on the computer it shows who looks you up in terms of the aesthetics on the on the phone or on the, I'm watching uh I forgot some in progress answers in progress I think it's called it's a youtuber that shows the analytics of different things that she has like uh polls that she takes to people ask questions about how much like in a long run to have a YouTube channel that shows a graph of a poll that people take and she and takes questions that she gets from the viewers. That's how I like things on YouTube. But it's hard to do that because they took, in 2010 when Ray Ray Johnson was on there, they took out the response videos, but they put in shorts now of having the, the, what call it, the polls and stuff. They have, you can respond back. And back then, I had a couple YouTube channels back in 2010 that I only posted a few videos and only got 100 clicks back then. But had on my you, I had on I had on my page of a Facebook uh, link in in terms of description of it that I wrote back then was very blurry because it was so like back when I had actual money and stuff to be able to do things, and now things that occur where you have to spend money on things and that you have to save and the saving part is hard because normally when you have something you'll spend it but if case in like dire needs that they can't take money off someone who's half blind and has impairments that you think there's laws in place to prevent someone that makes fun of people living with disabilities could get tossed up in there even if there's stuff on them that wasn't the case because I wasn't the one recording the video of my niece back then and I already described what occurred and if they don't believe you so be it but I'm not really a bad person in terms of this having show off like weight loss goals there's people that show with their underwear and, and they disclaimer that they have the weight in between after and before I lost weight and that's why I have my top off I'm, I'm weighing myself and I just figured It's not all bad in terms of just having a YouTube channel that shows progress upon something that at one point in time I was skinny and I gained weight and I lost weight in terms of the aftermath of exercising in between in between the two years and that I would exercise every day and generally just step and mu watch music videos on YouTube and listen to music that was based off anime and people that sung stuff that I had watched for the remainder of years going by and I would just shuffle the music and watch it and that but I had basically drawn stuff in between the times and like to focus on sketching things like art tutorials and stuff and wasn't really meant anything else other than the sketching out of the habit of knowing how to do it that I would be able to demonstrate it and pe people would make it out to be a bad guy when that wasn't the case and said it was basically all sorts of stuff that was wrong with you in terms of posting stuff and do you watch what you post and it it wasn't the case when I explained my side even though with the top off that they couldn't say that it was someone else in terms of how things were I just had to explain my side because when I go out places, people will, will tell me all sorts of stuff, and I don't know how to go about, like, directly, if it's directly towards me and saying that you're going to end up in jail, and that wasn't the case when there there's impairments with you, and sight has to deal with everything. If you can't see well, they can't toss someone up in jail that can't see, unless you think that Bill Cosby was blind because of the way he looks, and he got tossed up in there, and it ruined his, basically fortune and career off accusations that they made upon the person that made him out to be a bad guy and I honestly don't know if he did or didn't do it but there's photographs and stuff that they had albums that he made off 
a comedic wise, it wasn't wise of a person back then to have all these breadcrumbs leading up to something. That was just one example. Another example was Bill Clinton in terms of office, in terms of having an intern with a relationship, even if it was wasn't true. He still did inappropriate things and other things that I could go about basically saying, but don't want to get anyone angry off me. That already is the case, but figured like how they go about interpreting a person who's impaired that is skinnier than them or looks better than them or it's not as old look, look old and wear makeup, but you can't put makeup on your entire body. And then you would, it would be blemishes and stuff that I was in a pool at one time. And when I was working out on the treadmill, I would, I would, it would be all, I'd be sweating off the makeup and it would, I'd be tan and it would, it would sweat and you would see blemishes and spots. And that wasn't the case, but in the video with the PlayStation, you seen that I was dark complected, light complected, like this and I, but I complected, dark complected. That's why people thought it was a hoax and they just got actors. And then that guy was taller than the guy that was in jail looking off the camera, but he had lost his brother and the skirmish of a shoot off that they had gotten both brothers, but then accidentally killed the older brother thinking that he wouldn't copyright probably in terms of information that's out there that doesn't get shown as much in terms of the being ability of them both being handcuffed at one point in time and the other one escaping law enforcement in 2011 or 12 or 13 I forgot what year that was and then having to them to defend themselves when they can't possibly defend themselves now because everyone probably hates them and that's how thinking about making a YouTube channel is in terms of having them say a bunch of stuff about you and remarks and stuff that you demonstrated drawing even in live streams and stuff and had it drawn on your hand even if it wasn't clear as day I said Ortega and then they can't go back because YouTube had sent me resources back then saying that how come they're concerned about you your well-being if they don't follow up or have resources that in terms of having it being useful in terms of you didn't want to call a hotline because they might make fun of you or you didn't want to stay at a hospital because they might say something or harm you in terms of being in a place where it's supposed to be an environment where they listen to you instead of just basically saying all sorts of negative stuff. And I already had a trial back then to where, hence why I made a you to hear my side of the story and then basically not knowing in terms of who would listen and they said nobody watched or cared enough to do something about the stuff that I was crying because I, I didn't want to have a Rona, the coronavirus, and I thought I had it with my, f when it got discoloration of the skin on the foot and hand, I worried about that because there was cases where people had that same stuff that had Rona or coronavirus or the, whatever the heck that SARS COVID virus two or whatever that it, you normally can't talk about that stuff online. and. During the time period, no one would talk to me, and I would basically, I mean, I had gotten safe, sure, by the doctor, and he said he was graceful for me, but in terms of going back and that, they didn't really explain that later on I developed all sorts of stuff that, like, diabetes from it, that they said it was my fault, but I rarely really ate things. It was more baked goods and fried foods, but I figured I still exercise, and it could be genetics. Why is I know putting all your information out there is bad because people can lean towards you and make fun of you saying all sorts of stuff. But when you have something that was similar to a staph infection originally and then it made it to where I had something. So technically it wasn't my fault, but I'm more thinner now because of the reason why in the first place I have a notion of where you look younger than what they go based upon and they talk all sorts of shit. Younger person back then. And that's the same TV from the apartment that I played Street Fighter 2 and was angry because we had family that basically goes upon saying things and saying that it wasn't me and it was someone else and trying to 
take me to court over something that they couldn't have possibly done because family would prevent that from occurring, even though they had sort of like messed up ways of going about doing things and they had funny ways. And they probably think I'm just like, I have funny ways as well, but I was honest in terms of what I had accomplished back then. It just got cut short because I had surgery on bad advice. And that was never fully explained because I didn't want to go back and explain things or that embarrassing in terms of education wise. I got to 12th grade and had an equivalent of a 12th grade education, but people would make fun of you at restaurants and establishments and stuff because my grandpa's restaurant at one got demolished in 2015. And the restaurant isn't there, but the other restaurant attachment, the tortilla factory was there. So technically it wasn't all destroyed, but it's just going forth and trying to explain things that it's hard enough having a place where your last name got in a video game that the guy made fun of my last name with someone who was a, a like a environmentalist or someone who was basically what I had gone through in terms of going through a service that they had gone through when I was 16 going in and they basically went forth and made a video game character based upon like environmentalists or philanthropists or whatever that word is and have them go through being it integrated into the video game format and made fun of the last name I didn't learn this until later on when I played it I was kind of pissed but figured that the dude got fired from the company that they made the video game that had international praise and stuff and they praised this guy about the government but he made fun of the military platform Basically making fun of the military complex because he's in Japan and he can make, like they do in video games, they tear a part of history out and fabricate things and make it seem like having a comedic take like that vamp character being gay and being in a relationship with the commander that was in an operation of having something that was a weapon of mass destruction leaked in the day of age where they called somebody a terrorist because they leaked out photographs and all that's based off real events in terms of stuff that occurs nowadays and technology advances and all that stuff but back then it was kind of just like looked at in terms of the guy linking out information that has to do with weapons of mass destruction and things that could very well be true today and it just basically going about videos that have to do with online trolls and stuff and back when I went to Minnesota they made fun of the people that I was hanging around with in me that we went to a couple of individual, individual video game shops that I took photographs but back then weren't friendly toward us other than the rental that had to do with the I forgot that power lanes or that game works that had video game video game rental service that they were going to sign me and Evan but at the time Evan kept his information with them and we rented a couple games until eight and we got there at like four during the day until eight so we spent like a good four hours playing video games and it didn't seem that long while I was there because time flew and that was two years ago and I had two on my Facebook page that I didn't get in terms of having that much stuff recorded that I sat there and played video games and trying to overlook things that people would say and that really was my footage because you can hear my voice and my voice may have not changed throughout the years but my appearance has does change but it figures in terms of having eye surgery that you will feel good on some days and feel bad on other days and trying to explain that in terms of basically having an audience that probably thinks that I'm a troll, but I'm not a troll, but I have footage that goes to live stream that proves that I'm a real person. And this isn't a fake channel or fake 
thing, so I'm going to post this on YouTube once I get the video.